Green. Oh! What on earth did we just watch? The best dunk of the year. Refs running for their lives. I didn't think it was possible, but the NBA just outdid themselves. Grab your popcorn, because this week in the NBA was a movie. Chapter one, last Saturday. 40K as the king slays. Saturday night in the association was a thrilling tale of triumph and tribulation. Heroes emerged, rivalries ignited, and the game reached new heights. Starting at the Crypto.com arena, LeBron James decided to add another chapter to the history books. The king was only nine points away from being the only player ever to score 40,000 points. And the Joker vowed to try and stop him at all costs. They're gonna stop you, you're going to no, no. <laughs> Jokic has a sneaky sense of humor. But LeBron was inevitable. LBJ cemented his legacy by becoming the oldest and youngest player in NBA history to hit the 40K club. James against Porter, drive, Spence gets inside. It's good. It's 40,000 for LeBron James, the NBA's all time leading scorer with another milestone as the legend of LeBron continues to grow. In retaliation, Jokic decided to visit the bank before giving AD a serious case of deja vu. Four on the shot clock. Jokic gonna have to put it up. Falling away, it's up. Shot, he banks it in. Oh, another circus shot from Nikola Jokic. Looks eerily similar to nine months ago. Oh, it's good! Jokic from downtown! Of course it goes in! If Booker is Luka's adopted son, then what is AD to Jokic? Michael Porter Jr. was unconscious, shooting 10 for 10, including a perfect 5 for 5 from downtown. Instead, it turns into right now, the Lakers up by two. Michael Porter trying to keep his perfect night alive. He's 10 for 10. The Lakers simply didn't stand a chance as Denver cruised to a 10-point victory. And speaking of teams in the zone, playoff Jimmy has officially been awakened. This man smells the postseason in the same way a shark smells blood in water. And the result? A season-high 37 points. Jimmy out of the corner for three. Kaboom! Into the corner, Jimmy for the triple. Got it! After the game, Bam spilled the beans on the secret behind heat culture when this time of the year comes around. You've now won six of the last seven. What's working? We're playing together basketball. The ball is flying everywhere, and we're getting stops on the defensive end. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Props to Bam for taking the interview seriously, too. An absolute class act. The Heat were favored by nine and cruised to victory by six points. Meanwhile, while Tony Brothers was catching feelings for DeJounte Murray, leaving him on red. Tony Tony Brothers was trying to talk to DeJounte Murray there, and he blew him off, and then he went, okay, you get a T. I'm trying to come to you, you, you blew yep. me off, I'm, yeah. You get a T, you get a T, yeah. you get a T. The Rockets were soaring high in the Valley of the Sun. Drives in a two-handed volleyball spike there by Alperin Shagoon. There is just something so satisfying about a two-handed block. Houston was giving Phoenix the business defensively, and the frustration ended in a scuffle and an ejection. Your tips are green, there's Beal working baseline. Throws up a tough one, good defense by Shingun, but unfortunately he was the last to touch. And this has been a bit of a chippy series over the last three games. He fakes the ball, he oh, actually that, hit yeah. Jalen. Kind of tapped in him the in the head. forehead. And Booker on the catch, and a jump ball, and now Jalen Green shoving Bradley Beal. Just when you thought it couldn't get worse for the Suns, this happened. Now Booker goes down, grabbing his right ankle. Booker's gonna yes. limp right back to the Suns' dressing room. Hopefully he is okay. Dang, that didn't look good. Praying for a quick and full recovery for D-Book. Favored by nine, the Suns lost by the same amount to the Rockets. My fellow goats, the playoffs are fast approaching, and the season is starting to heat up with bigger plays and even bigger wins. As a result, today I've teamed up with DraftKings. DraftKings is introducing a brand new way to play daily fantasy sports. Introducing DraftKings Pick 6. With DraftKings Pick 6, all new customers are getting a 100% deposit match. Up to $100 in Pick 6 credits when you deposit just $5 or more. Getting started is simple. Download the DraftKings Pick 6 app and sign up using my code GOAT. From there, you can select any two to six basketball players and choose if they're going to have more or less of a stat. Points, assists, threes, etc. It's that simple. You can even track your lineup and compete against others for a shot at huge cash prizes. Get in on the action right now. If you live in any of these states in orange, then pick six is available for you to play with the code GOAT. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Thanks to DraftKings for sponsoring this part of the video. Chapter 2. Sunday Night. Back to the 80s. 
Sunday night, Hoops took us on a wild journey, from Wemby's three-point artillery to the Luka triple-double saga, and even a ref sprinting for dear life. The NBA was the best thing on TV. It started with a massacre in the city that they call Beantown. The Celtics unleashed an unholy 61-17 run to close out the half against the Dubs. The Warriors tried disrespecting Jalen Brown, and it backfired. How'd you see Jalen Brown knock down that, that three? It meant themselves in a player's career. Brown, you bitch! Jalen Brown is scorching hot in this first. While lying to Warriors fans is a lucrative business around these parts, this was the look on every Warriors fan's face as they collectively realized the gap between them and the actual elite teams in the league. This is an epic butt weapon. This is so bad. The Golden State Warriors were nearly down by 50 at halftime. Boston Celtics fans, on the other hand, were having a great time, hitting the wave on their way to a 52-point win, which was also their 11th consecutive victory. They're starting a wave. I have not seen a wave in an NBA game in about a decade. Final minute here in Boston. Thank God. <laughs> for both teams, for both teams involved. However, in Cleveland, Knicks fans almost had their entire season flash right before their eyes. They were already down Randall, OG, and Mitchell Robinson, and then this happened. Brunson, his first shot up, oh, and he landed awkwardly and immediately grabs at his lower leg. Brunson tries to get up and immediately goes back to ground. Fortunately, it was only a knee contusion, and x-rays came back negative. For the remainder of the game, it was a battle of the roll players and the Knicks faithful came out on top. Nick Pride to the rail. Good D by Mobley on Hart. That's a three. Oh. Josh Hart. Oh, Josh Hart. The Cavs were favored by four, but they took an L by nine points. Meanwhile, in Cactus Central, the Suns thought it would be a good idea to defend Josh Giddy with nothing but the Grand Canyon. Alexander, look where Nurk is. I mean, he's not in the zip code. Yeah. It's Giddy open in the corner for the three. It took a while, but eventually Giddy made them pay. Giddy, he'll let it fly from three, and Josh Giddy gets one to go. Nurkic made history, grabbing 31 boards, the most in an NBA game in the 21st century, and definitely a Suns franchise record. Led by SGA's 35-piece, OKC surged ahead to a 42-18 and 18 record, leaving only a half a game gap between first and third place at the top of the West, while Obi Toppin was busy forcing a ref to pull a Usain Bolt to avoid being bulldozed over. Big comeback, oh! It ran Courtney, uh, Courtney Kirkland up about 15 rows. Because he saw Toppin was coming in that direction. The Spurs were handing the Pacers their worst loss of the season, as Wemby dropped 31 points, 12 boards, 6 assists, and 6 blocks. Blocked by Victor, and here he comes on the bounce. Ahead, Jones, and the layup. On his way to leading the Spurs to a 12-point win over the 6.5 favored Pacers, but the Mavericks saw this loss and said, hold our beers, Luka Magic was magical once again. Comes up short. Good save though by Doncic to Washington. Floater goes over Bamba. The man had his third consecutive triple double, and he was hitting every part of the rim. With pace up the floor, tries the three from straight away. Front rim and in. But even his magic couldn't save Dallas from crumbling to the Embiidless Sixers. Maxi and Tobias Harris combined for 52 points as the Sixers handed the Mavs a tough four-point loss. At the end of the day, the NBA took us back to the 80s in Minnesota. It was a slugfest between the Wolves and the Clippers, where neither team scored over 90 points. Harden couldn't buy a bucket to save his life, going a miserable 0 for 10 from the field. Harden, around town, to the rim. Harden, no field goals tonight, squares up for three, and he's still stuck on a goose egg. For a second, Rudy Gobert turned into Steve Nash. Rebound, Gobert! Bounce pass, McDaniels! The face -off. However, Kawhi Leonard refused to let his team lose, as he single-handedly dropped 32 of the Clippers' 89 points. The Timberwolves were favored by two and a half, but fell short by a single point. Chapter 3, Monday Night. Doc gets the last laugh, 
Monday night in the NBA brought a barrage of energy. The spark began in Milwaukee when the Clippers visited on a back-to-back. -back. Giannis was out with left Achilles tendonitis, and from the outset you could feel that Dame was loading up to have one of those nights. Uh-oh! Uh -oh, it could be one of those nights! It does feel like it might just be one of those nights. Logo Lillard dropped 41 big ones, but even with him scorching hot, the Bucks found themselves down 15 at one point, until the man who they call Bobby Portis decided to light up the world. BP gets another look from the corner. That Tommy drills it. Eight seconds on the shot clock. They can't miss. Oh, the tide has turned. Undrafted guard AJ Green decided to join in on the fun too. AJ Green, it's a deep one. It's a deep one. Whoever thought of putting Pat Bev and Bobby Portis on the same team, thank you. Those two have a lot to do with the emotion, with the energy, with the chippiness, with meeting the moment. It's the chatter. Vibes through the roof. Energy on 100. The Clippers were favored by three, but ended up getting stomped by seven points for the Bucks' sixth straight victory. Meanwhile, in La La Land, the Lakers were hosting the Thunder, but the Thunder missed the memo, as they didn't know they were walking into a maximum security prison. LeBron's trying to cut off Wiggins. He does. does. <laughs> they say that's good defense by LeBron, one-on-one -on -one baseline. Eight to shoot. Lob check. In retaliation, Lou Dort was doing some investigating of his own. Speaking of LeBron, ouch. LeBron driving through the lane, Ooh. and Lou Dort just slapped him on the, on the top of the head. And the Lakers want to review this, I think. The Lakers held the Thunder to a season-low 30% shooting from the field in the first half. And in the fourth, D'Lo confirmed that his three-point percentage goes up as the difficulty level increases. There he is. Trying to put him no. OKC was favored by one, but they ended up taking a 12-point beating, while the Jazz were reminding us of that one friend you have who is always oversharing on everything. Ball stripped away off Diva. Drop it, put it up, and followed by Colin Sexton. Kobe White decided to violate the entire Kings roster. Oh, watch your head, Harrison Barnes. That was Kobe White oh. dunking on a fellow Tar Heel. Oh. Tar Heel on Tar Heel crime. Oh my goodness. 37 points, a career high for Chicago's crown jewel. But the most fitting way to end the night took place in Minnesota. Anthony Edwards had to come off the bench after being late for tip off. Nature calls when nature calls. So Anthony Edwards checks in. Checks into the ball game. First game this season coming off the bench. How about that? Rudy Gobert was a problem in the paint all game. Gobert, get out the way! So Simons decided to go on a one-man mission to crush the giant. Group led by oh. Anthony Simons cuffs oh. it with a left hand, a ferocious dunk, <laughs> and a foul. But despite his incredible 34 and 14 performance, the Timberwolves, favored by 15, held on for a five-point win against the Trailblazers, moving them back to first place in the Western Conference. Chapter Four, Tuesday night, Sniper Unleashed. On Tuesday, the NBA witnessed the rise of unlikely heroes. As the underdogs rose, giants fell, and the unexpected ruled supreme. Over in Cleveland, Darius Garland hypnotized Sam Hauser into submission. Ooh, down goes Hauser! <laughs> Garland put him on the floor, and hits from the outside to complete the highlight. But no one caught fire like Dean Wade, who scored 20 of his 23 points in the final quarter. Garland kicked. Wade, is he feeling it? Oh, yeah! Cavaliers trying to move a little closer. Again? Yes, sir! Jared Allen on a kick. Wade, Splash! The man single-handedly outscored the entire Boston roster by himself during that period. Drive to the rim, left hand, no! However, Boston still had a chance to win the game. It's Tatum fades! It is no good! And a foul called with 0.7!
The Cavs overcame a 22-point deficit in the final period, the biggest fourth-quarter comeback in franchise history, as they snapped the Celtics' glorious 11-game winning streak. Meanwhile, Luka was irate, as the Mavs suffered their third straight loss, this one to the Pacers. But when we visited H-Town, we found Devin Vassell getting an eviction notice in mid-air. Vassell back in, goes baseline, had it stopped! And for the third game in a row, the Rockets found themselves in another brawl. Okay, Sohan just tripped Jalen Green. That's gonna be a man Thompson in the back. And Thompson getting it to him in the backboard. And now those two have to be separated. This is becoming a regular thing now in games involving the Houston Rockets. Shengun served the Spurs a Turkish cuisine, donor kebab, spin style. His first, he's got nine down low. Shengun drop step and score. He is going to work here in this third quarter. It's uh -oh. no way. And Webiyama. Ah! Dude posted a career-high 45 points, accompanied by a season-best 16 rebounds, as the Rockets, favored by seven, sealed the deal with a 13-point victory. However, north of the border, Brandon Ingram was directing an episode of Lost and decided Nawara would be perfect for the lead role. Dante from behind, taking it away from oh, Nawara, the crossover. Oh, 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 Brandon yeah. Zion was a Skywalker out there. The lob. See, yes! What a pass! It was an absolute massacre. The Pelicans, favored by nine, turned Toronto into a crime scene, escaping out of Canada with a 41-point beatdown. After the game, Zion said the words that were music to yours truly's ears. Do you see yourself taking part in a dunk contest in the future? I gotta do my part and make the All-Star game. If I'm in the All-Star game, I'll do the dunk contest. It's decided. I guess we know who we're voting for in 2025, eh guys? At the same time, in Mile High City, Jokic was shuffling on the Suns. Jokic. Oh, how does he do it? The shuffle from Nikola Jokic. Booker was out with that sprained ankle, so KD had to carry the whole offense. Unfortunately, his shot was off all game. 0 of 5 from distance until clutch time, 30 seconds left in the game. With his team down three, Easy Money Sniper pulled out the rifle. Durant, Durant just one for eight in this quarter, hits a big one! He finally drills a three! And in OT, the man couldn't miss. Durant fires a three, Durant, he's found it now! Got the break. Durant for three. Hits again. Oh, ho, the finisher. The Nuggets, favored by nine, ended up with a 10-point L. Big win for the Suns, who are dancing on the edge of that play-in tournament. But the craziest play of the night took place in the 305. For a second, I thought my eyes were deceiving me. What a move! Oh, Duncan Robinson! A screwball for the layup. Here's the little fake spin behind the back. And wow. Really fools Thompson, who's much quicker than him. And Duncan Robinson showing off the bag. But come the fourth quarter, Himmy Butler took over, dropping 15 of his 26 points when it mattered most. Now Fontecchio defending Jimmy, a three ball. Yes! The finishing touch from Jimmy Butler as the Heat's last five points. The Heat were favored by 11 and won by eight points as the Pistons fell back into a tie with the Wizards for the NBA's worst record at 9-52. and 52. Chapter 5, Wednesday night. Bounce back in San Fran. On hump day, we had serious annihilations, serious revenge tours, and unfortunately, serious health scares. Coming off that embarrassing 52-point loss to the Celtics, the Warriors were back at home, and they desperately needed to respond. Steph started the game hot, hitting his first five shots and cooking up a new celebration. Rudy Curry way outside, another three, he's four for four. The last time Pat Bev was talking about Chris Paul, this is what he said. Man, CP can't guard nobody, man. Everybody in the NBA know that. Guard. What we call them? Cone. You know what you do with cones? Like when in the summertime, you got a cone. You make a move. What does the cone do? Stay still. Exactly. Yeah. He's a cone. Stop playing, man. Everybody that right. knows that. Everyone knows that. But tonight, Pat was moving a bit different. He's everywhere. You said he can still help the team, and he's still an agitator. Chris Paul and him going back and forth. Giannis was back from his left Achilles tendonitis, and Trace Jackson Davis put the clamps on the Greek freak. It's Milwaukee. Trace Jackson Davis blocked Giannis. Giannis got him back. He blocked him again. While at the same time, Moody was doing the same at the point of attack. Shooting and then turnovers and Moody with the steal. Moody with the run out of the top. 
However, in the fourth, it was Dre's world, and we were all just living in it. With Draymond giving that open three. The Dubs outscored the Bucks 32 to 9 in the fourth quarter and ended up demolishing the Bucks by a jaw-dropping 35-point margin while snapping their six-game winning streak. Meanwhile, in the nation's capital, Jordan Poole's intrusive thoughts almost won, but he decided not to succumb to them. Poole, is he gonna shoot it? Don't do it. <laughs> he even thought about it. He didn't think about it. He definitely thought about shooting it. And when he wasn't doing that. He was throwing some unbelievable dimes. Jordan Poole throws the ball into the third row. But even with all this, the Magic found themselves down 21 in the game, up until the Bancaro freight train started rumbling. Poole out in transition. Bancaro and one opportunity. He's hit by Rashad Holmes, and he'll have a chance at a three-point play. Favored by six and a half, the Magic rallied back to hand the Wizards their 16th consecutive loss of the season, tying a team record from the 09-010 Dark Ages. As the wise philosopher once said, at this point, it's like, don't be that team. However, in Tinseltown, LeBron LeBron James decided to baptize Alex Len. Perimeter work, LeBron! L.B.J. Look out! Unreal. Sabonis was his usual triple double self. Reverse pivot action. Demontis Sabonis has another triple double. His fourth one in his last seven games. But the real star of the show was De'Aaron Fox, who exploded for a career high tying 44 points. Spin cycle. Falling. Fire! Jack Nicholson, Andy Garcia, it doesn't matter. The biggest start tonight. With the game out of reach, with just under four minutes left in the game, the King decided he was done for the night. Well, you see the pictures, you know the story. The Lakers were favored by three, but lost by 10 points. But amidst all the excitement, there was a scary moment in Portland when Thunder center Bismack Biombo inadvertently collapsed during a timeout. Well, right now there is silence and concern inside Moda Center as Bismack Biombo being attended to right near the Thunder bench as he's being overseen by the medical staff of both Oklahoma City and the Portland Trailblazers and you see him holding the back of his head. Luckily, he was cleared of any serious medical conditions. Prayers up for the big fella. The night though ended in Utah where Jordan Clarkson brought the house down in clutch time. JC dribble drive. Space! Oh! With 10 seconds left in the game, DeMar was fouled after the inbound, and immediately after that, chaos ensued. So now we got some jawing down on that Bulls bench. Yeah. I don't know. Collins just needs to walk away. Well, yeah, and now John Collins, oh my. Back out, back out. It escalated in a hurry. The entire game would come down to this shot. Inbound along the baseline. Quickly, section one bounce for the win. No. And the Jazz come up short. As the Bulls, who were favored by four, survived a late Utah comeback, winning by just two points. Chapter six, Thursday night, troll special by the Joker. Thursday night in the association defied all the laws of physics while delivering the most nail-biting finishes. The thrills began in the basketball capital of the world. The Wolves were visiting the Pacers. Earlier on in the day, Minnesota had received some very bad news. A left meniscus injury for Kyle Anthony Towns. And at the very beginning of the game, things got even worse. We are underway. Wolves first crack at it. This is the guy that they're gonna to try to keep the ball in his hand. Oh, no. And Edwards, he wants off the floor. He needs to come out of the game. He rolled his ankle, and he's, he's ambling off the court. I mean, he's going straight to the locker room. But Ant is built like an ox, and thankfully he was able to come back. As a result, we were blessed with the best game of his young career. With two minutes left in the game, the Pacers took a one-point lead. Diakam goes in. <laughs> But Jordan's look-alike would respond by doing Jordan-like things. Pull up from deep, cash! 39. He's traveled by Miles. Pull up, yes sir! He's unstoppable! Dude even went full anti-gravity to win the game. 
Pacers have a okay. chance. Up ahead, Neesmith. Blocked! Edwards getting up! And good night! This game started with him turning the ankle. What transpired from there was one of the best performances of Anthony Edwards' career. The Pacers were favored by one and a half, but lost by two points. After the game, Ant was glowing. I hit my head, I think on the rim, it's hurting real bad, and I landed on my wrist, but I mean, you know, I saw him with the lane, I knew he was going for the, for the layup, and I was just like, man, I'm finna go get this. I ain't never jumped that high in my life. However, when we flew over to Denver, we had a potential playoff finals preview. Blue Arrow was glitching on the Celtics. Gotta go quick here. Murray guarded by Holiday. Now Tillman, he lets it fly. Oh, Jamal Murray! JB almost destroyed Jokic, but unfortunately, the ghost of Kai got to him first. Celtics with numbers here. Oh, Brown couldn't get high enough. Gordon, on the other hand, was a completely different problem. Porzingis, he spins off him. Miss it. Oh! Aaron Gordon! The follow jam! It was an amazing clash of the Titans. And at the end of the game, Tatum would get another chance to beat the negative clutch allegations. Brown forces a turnover. Tatum on the run. He's looking for Brown. Gives it back. White in the corner. It's Tatum. He missed it. Tough. Another Denver win, accompanied by the Joker's 20th triple-double of the season. Bro's trolling is endless, while Asar Thompson was abusing Schroeder. Wiseman with the hook. No. Flushed on the follow by Asar Thompson. How high did he go that time, Greg? Top of the square. Cade Cunningham was commemorating the Statue of Liberty. He races to the rim. Jams it! And the Kings found themselves in a tight game against the Spurs. San Antonio's dedication to the tank was unmatched. Fox led the fellowship with 33 points, and Vassell responded with his own 30 and 9. But up three with less than 30 seconds left in the game, the Spurs decided to offer a sacrifice to the lottery gods. Malik pulls one for the tie! Money! Malik! Mom! Domas! Give me that! The hammer! Demontis Sabonis with the defensive play of the game. The Kings, favored by 12, barely scraped by with a two-point win over the wemby Spurs, officially eliminating San Antonio from play-in contention. At the same time, things took a turn for the worse in Golden State. Going back door. Oh, no, there's a turn, the right ankle. Yeah, Steph is limping around. That is the last thing you want to see. The last time Steph's ankles were a problem was pre-2014, so hopefully we don't have much to worry about. With the chef out of commission, DeRozan decided to put on the apron himself. Here's DeRozan, the fake, the foul, oh, the marvelous DeRozan delivers in the clutch again! The Warriors would get a chance to tie the game, and the rookie would take it upon himself. Pajemski driving to lay it up and out, missed the layup. Sure, he missed the shot, but it was good process, and he generated a great shot. Those who understand ball can say amen. The dubs were favored by eight and a half, but ended up taking the tough L by three points. However, with the red-hot Miami Heat in town, Luka did something that had only been done once in NBA history. Doncic put up his fifth consecutive 30-point triple-double. The only other player to do that was Russ in 2017. And Luka in desperation! Oh! and he was happy to finally get a favorable call in the game. Doncic had the mismatch on Rozier and tried to plow his way. As the Mavs, who were favored by four and a half, finally were able to snap their three-game skid with a gutsy six-point win, Chapter 7. Friday night, is this your MVP? from defensive masterstrokes to offensive explosions. Friday night in the association had it all. Over in the City of Angels, it was a clash of the titans as the Greek freak met AD in the paint and got sent back to the Mediterranean. Davis fifth in the league in blocks, and he sends it right back at Giannis, and it's a shot clock violation. Austin Reeves was also locking down on D, picking Giannis's pocket. Giannis has it poked away by Reeves, and Reeves scores with a tenth of a second to go. Dame was a four-point maestro. Here's Dame's turn. Dame's high is Oh, my! Talk about Dame time! Twisted around. 
But no one was as unstoppable as D'Angelo Russell. Just ask Pat Bev. Circles, Pat Beverly trying to stay with him, but not able to. He goes once, <laughs> comes back, and goes again, and then shoots up the quickie and finds the bottom. Kilo, working on a Laker. High. On its way. Got it again. 21 of his season-high 44 points came in the fourth quarter, but when it mattered most, it was Spencer who came out clutch. With four, Lillard on his rock, it is Dinwiddie. Rock. It's blocked by Spencer Dinwiddie. Spencer Dinwiddie wins the game for the Lakers. Despite Antetokounmpo's 34-point triple-double, the Lakers pulled off a nail-biting win, even without King James on the court. However, in Cleveland, the no-fun police, led by the one and only Scott Foster, were out in full force once again. Over to Edwards! Get out the way! And a technical foul is called for taunting. Rudy Gobert got a T in protest. Rebound, Gobert! Whistle blows, loose ball foul, and it's against Minnesota if it's on Rudy Gobert. Unbelievable that Scott Foster made that call from where he, that far out of the floor. But Naz Reed wasn't about to let the Cavs run away with it. The man decided to become a human vice to save the game. Five on the shot clock, Darius going to work on Naz Reed, and it's blocked by Reed! But in OT, he couldn't repeat his clamping ways. The Cavs were favored by one and walked away with a sweet nine-point victory while Jordan Poole was celebrating his team finally ending their 16-game losing streak. Washington ends the streak. Oh, and then Jordan Poole with a windmill after the buzzer. Herb Jones was using Cam Payne for target practice. And Jones throws it off of Cam, who was laying out of bounds. Meanwhile, in the Big Apple, the Knicks turned on the defensive heat. New York held the Magic to a measly 74 points, the lowest scoring output in the league this season. Bancaro decided to get artsy and put Precious on a poster. He'll drive and hammer it down. Nobody's gonna block that one. Pablo to the rack. Brunson, coming back after a little hiatus, decided to remind everyone why he's a force to be reckoned with. Because Brunson fires from three and knocks it down. He dropped 26 points to lead the Knicks, who were favored by three on their way to routing Orlando by 24 points. At the same time in Portland, Jalen Green was making a barbecue out of Anthony Simons. Uh oh, uh oh, oh! Cocking, rocking, and knocking it down. And the Green Thompson connection was working just fine. Been absolutely balling. But in OKC, Shea continued to build on his MVP case, dropping 37 points. Shea drops in. Is he going to get the bounce? He is, and he's going to get the foul. Shea already with eight. Making 11 in the fourth quarter. Sticks another big shot. As the Thunder, favored by eight and a half, clawed back from a 14-point deficit to snatch victory by seven points. After the game, SGA broke it down for us, explaining why he's Mr. Consistency. 47 games for you with at least 30. How are you just so consistent, like the tide, night in and night out? Uh, my whole life is consistent. Uh, everything I do. From what I eat to when I sleep, everything's consistent. With the win, the Thunder moved back ahead of Minnesota for first place in the West. If you end up enjoying this video, please subscribe. It's free and you can always change your mind. Anyways, wherever you are in the world, be the goat of that moment. Stay goated.